Okay then gang, so every animation that we've used so far is an implicit animation, meaning that Flutter does a lot of the heavy lifting for us when it's animating stuff. But if we want more finer control and more flexibility over how an animation works, we'll need to create an explicit animation and use an animation controller. Now, before we do that, I just wanted to cover a quick side dart topic, mix-ins because we'll be using a mixin to help us create an animation controller in the next lesson. And I always think it's a good idea to understand the constructs that we use in our code, even if it's just from a bird's eye perspective. So I'm gonna explain this mixins using Dartpad, which is basically just an online Dart playground, and I'll leave the link to this down below. So what is a mixin exactly? Well, it's a way to add extra functionality or abilities to classes in a way that standard class inheritance doesn't allow us easily. And it also allows different classes to share different functionality without just relying on inheritance, which can be useful. So then to demo this idea of mixins, I've already gone ahead and created this class called user. And this just represents a single user and some kind of website. And each user would have access to a post comment method and that would probably post some kind of comments on an article but for the sake of this tutorial we're just printing something to the console now we create an instance of this up here and access that method so that when we run it we see posted comment over here in the console cool now what if we had a second type of user which was a moderator and they should also be able to post comments but as well as that they should also be able to delete comments well, what we could do is create that moderator class and inherit from the user class. And to do that in Dart, we use the extends keyword. So I'm going to create this class called moderator and it's going to extend the user class. And inside, all I need to do is declare the new method that this has, the moderator, and that is to delete comments. So I can say void and then delete comment and inside we'll just say print and then comment deleted pretty self-explanatory right so now this moderator is extending this class right here so it automatically gets access to this method we don't need to redefine it because it inherits it but we also have an extra method on moderators called delete comment so i could come to the top over here and i'm going to create now a moderator instead and i could access both post comment which is right here from this user and also the other method if i create another one down here moderator and then access the other method delete comment and that is only available to moderators so if i run this now we should see posted comment and also comment deleted so that works Okay, so what if we had a third type of user now, which was a publisher? And again, they should have a post comment method, but they shouldn't have this one. Instead, they should have an extra method, which is to publish an article. They can't delete comments. So let's create this. I'm gonna say class and then publisher. And this is also gonna extend the user class because remember, we want to inherit this method, not this. So we don't extend moderator, we extend user. So inside now, we can declare a new method called publish article. And all this does is publish an article, but for now we'll just say print and then article published. All right, so again, pretty self-explanatory. So now if I comment out both of these and this time create a new instance of publisher, and we can access now the publish article method and also the post comment method, which we inherit from user. But we don't get access to the other method, delete comment, because we're not inheriting from this, right? So I could access both of those. Let me say post comment, like so. And then underneath that, I'm gonna say publisher, and then we want to publish article. So let me run this and see if this works. And it does. All right, so now let's throw a spanner into the work. What if we want a fourth type of user? And this one is called admin. Now this admin user should be able to both 
post a comment and delete a comment, but it should also be able to publish articles as well. They should be able to do everything. Well, how would I implement this functionality? Because I can only extend one class. So I could, for example, extend user, but then I only have this and I would have to redeclare these two right here inside the admin class. And I don't want to duplicate code. I could extend the moderator and I'd get this method and this method via inheritance, but not this one. And again, I'd have to redeclare that and that's code duplication. And likewise, if I inherit from this one, if I extend the publisher class, I'm going to have to recreate this one in the admin as well. So whichever way we look at this, I'm going to have some kind of code duplication. And this is where mixins come into play. So instead, what I could do is define these different methods right here, or at least one of them as a mixin. And then we can mix in that method into a class, even though we're extending from a different one. So let me write this out, then I'm going to explain it. So first of all, I'm going to comment out this stuff right here because we're going to add this inside a mixin instead. So let me come to the bottom and I'm going to use the keyword mixin, not with a capital, and I'm going to call this can publish article. Okay. And then open up curly braces. And all I need to do in here is define some kind of method that I want this mixin to have. So I'm going to grab this stuff, copy it and paste it right here. And I'm going to uncomment it as well. And now we have this function inside this mixin. So now what I could do is delete this from over here and I'm going to say publisher still extends user. So I'm still getting access to this, but now I also want to use this mixin as well inside this class and to use a mixin, we just say at the end with, and then whatever mixins we want to use. So can publish article, for example. And now if we try to use the publisher, then we can access this method on it because we're using this mixin. And so therefore this class gets the extra ability to publish articles. All right. So it doesn't matter what we're inheriting from, we can just add in this functionality by using a mixin and that makes it a bit more flexible. So the same is true for admin. So I could now extend the moderator over here. So I could say admin extends moderator, which means I automatically get access to this and this, but I can now say with can publish article. And that also means that I get access to this inside the admin class as well. And I don't need to worry about duplicating any code. So up here, let me comment these things out and let me try with the admin. So I'll say admin and then I want to use some methods. So dot and we can see already we get delete comment, publish article and post comment. So I can use all of these things. Let me just use them all to make sure it works. So publish article and then admin dot and the last one is delete comment. All right. So let me see if this works by running over here. And yep, all of this works. So hopefully now you understand what mixins are and how they can help us, especially as our class hierarchy and structure gets much bigger as it does typically in Flutter applications. So we'll be using a mixin in the next video when we create an animation controller.